Hello and welcome back everybody, J-Man here for another music reaction. It's my Sunday, winding my weekend down, uh, enjoying a little good music here. Hope you're all doing well out there. Um, so we have a Swiss Cheese Points request from Helga Hansen, uh, a little more Wren, um, which I, I really went down a Wren, uh, a Wren rabbit hole, with, particularly with um, High Wren. Um, watching a lot of reactors react to that song and, and really was in, in that rabbit hole for, for a while. Um, I have checked out a little bit of his other stuff, um, but not a bunch. So, uh, yeah, interested to see what we got going here. Um, he, this is a, um, a collaboration with Chinchilla, um, and the song is How to Be Me. I've been told that the subject matter of this is related to a friend of his who, um, uh, I know we're not supposed to say this on YouTube anymore, but I don't care. I don't, I'm not monetizing anything. So, uh, with a friend that committed suicide by jumping off a bridge. Um, so I do love the, uh, the way that he brings forward these things to do with, um, depression and, and, um, other psychological trauma and things like that. And, um, suicidal ideation, things like that. I think it is something while there are a lot of, uh, media um, platforms out there right now trying to suppress the discussion of this topic. I don't understand why. Um, it really is confusing to me. I think that awareness is key to um, getting people that are in these places help and, and helping them to understand that they're not alone uh, and things like that. So uh, I'm a super small channel. Nobody's going to hear me. None of the None of the big um, minds that are making the, these decisions are going to hear me. But uh, if they were to hear me, I would say, stop, quit, quit censoring material that talks about a subject that you feel like um, is something that shouldn't be talked about because it needs to be talked about. Listen to the science. Uh, psychiatrists, psychologists, they're going to tell you that trying to stifle discussion about these things is doing a disservice to the people who su uh, suffer and struggle with these problems. So yeah, please knock it off. It's getting really, really annoying. Um, anyways, let's go ahead. Let's dive on in. Ren uh, and Chinchilla doing How to Be Me. Let's get it. One, two, three, one. <laughs> Cyber. <laughs> Those nails, though. I don't feel safe in this bed. There are voices in my head. I've been talking to the dead And the fear baptized me My kingdom turned to dust And I watched all my riches rust Have I lost the Midas touch? Or do sad eyes blind me? Over and over we go Over the hills and the valleys below Oh, and it follows me, follows me home And it suffocates me Okay, quick pause. Um, yeah, I, I, I love the use of metaphor um, in the lyrics here so far. Um, you know, have I lost my Midas touch? Um, uh, these things, they follow me home. Um, you know, not feeling comfortable in their bed, I think was another line. Um, <clears throat> yeah, it, it's, uh, they're, they're expressing somebody who's going through <clears throat> that uncomfortable feeling of going down into probably a depression, uh, where you get to this place where, it's like everything that used to be familiar and comfortable to you, uh, 
um, no longer feels comfortable and familiar. Um, I've gone through periods of depression where I'm a huge gamer. Uh, I've gone through periods of depression where it's like I couldn't find a game that interests me. Even the games that I used to love to play were not fun for me. Um, doing the things that you normally enjoy doing just become blah. Um, so, you know, that I love that metaphor of, you know, the bed not feeling like home or, or whatever that line was, because, you know, it's like bed is usually, you know, that comfort play where you go to sleep and revive and regenerate. And, and now even that, that safest of retreats for most people doesn't feel right for you. Um, I feel like the, all the metaphors that they're using are, are painting a very cool picture of, um, you know, that unsettling feeling of, of being depressed. So, um, liking what they're doing vocally, um, Ren's got a really cool, um, uh, falsetto that he uses and it's blending very well with Chinchilla's voice. Um, so I'm enjoying that as well. So yeah, let's back it up a smidge and keep going. Kate's me. No, I can't breathe. I said, oh, I can't breathe. All I know. <clears throat> is I forgot how to be me. Yeah, that sentiment. feel safe in these holes there are bruises on the walls there are bodies in bruises the on the walls and they breathe so loudly i wish i could move get up and walk right out this tomb do our saviors die too soon my sins surround me over and over we go and over we go and the valleys below always be follows me follows me follows me follows me suffocates me All right, we're going to back up and, and hear this whole next section they're moving into. <clears throat> really, really liked the harmony here between the two of them for this part. And especially am enjoying her part of that. Really, really cool tone and texture coming in. Um, but the two of them together, really, really nice. Very nice. Uh, it... it not at all that it sounds like it, but it it gave me that little bit of a chill that I get um, sad face here from remembering, you know, Flor Jansen and Marco and the things that they would do in some of their stuff with Nightwish. Um, but yeah, really, really like that. Wanted to point it out. Let's back it up a couple of smidges here. Make sure we get that full part. For Kate's me. Mm -hmm. Decision lay in the night 
that stayed with me for all of my life. I miss you so. Yeah, um, and I, I like the way that Ren um, capsulated that feeling, his feeling um, for for this decision that there, his friend made. Um, you know, for, for any of you out there that are struggling with depression, I have to give this little blurb. Um, you know, uh, for those of you who are not familiar, I, I'm a psychology major. Um, I am not a therapist. Uh, I'm not anything like that, but I do have a degree in psychology. I work in the field of psychology for, um, uh, Cigna slash Evernorth, uh, behavioral health. Um, but you know, please know that, um, you're not alone. Um, a lot of people are feeling similar things to the things that you're feeling. And, um, you know, just please reach out to some help before you make a permanent decision for what is more than likely a temporary problem. Um, I, I've been there myself. I've been to that dark place where I've thought about ending my life and, and feeling like it was all too much. But um, fortunately, I, I've found my way through those and, and find, found my way back to happier times. And um, doesn't mean that you're not maybe going to get into that dark place again at some point in the future, but you can find happiness again. You can find your, your home that you've lost. You can find that comfort in the things that you have lost comfort in. You can find them again. Um, so please, please, I'm just, you know, just before you make that permanent decision or what is more than likely a temporary problem, reach out for some help. Um, find find a therapist to talk to, even if it's just finding a friend to talk to um, or just talk to a stranger. Um, more times than not, what can compile and, and increase these feelings um, is that feeling of wanting to isolate yourself. Um, when you're feeling down and you're, and you're going into that dark place. And sometimes you just have to force yourself to go out and just go out in public, you know, go watch a movie by yourself, but be in a crowd of people and experience the emotions with other people. Um, you know, sit in a cafeteria and, and eat by yourself. It's not, there's nothing embarrassing with eating a meal by yourself, but just be among other people. Um, it helps a ton. That's that's something that that helped me a number of times when I when I've gone into a dark place and um, maybe I was even feeling alone because I I'd lost some friends uh, in terms of not that they died but um, had a split with a friend or something. So I was feeling you know lost and and without friends or whatever. Um, just. Get out there and put yourself out there and, and take that brave step of, of going out and getting out in public. And and if you can, interact with people when you're out in public and and just get that feeling that you're not alone in this world. Um, it'll help you a lot. So that's that's my little verb. Had, had to get that out of the way. Musically, I did really like this. Um, uh, I don't know that it's the kind of song that I would put on a playlist. Um and, and listen to, uh, you know, on the regular. Um, but it's certainly something I could come back to and, and experience, you know, in the future and, and enjoy. Um, I really enjoy it more for the message. Um, and that, you know, there were also some, some very cool vocal moments. Um, the music itself was nothing super special or anything to me in terms of, you know, the, just the general, musicality of what was being done. This is more of a, a song about the message and the presentation of the message. And uh, I did very much enjoy Chinchilla's uh, vocals there, especially in that one part that I paused it for. Uh, definitely gave me goosebumps and, and uh, gave me the feels. Um, I really enjoyed that. Um, but yeah, I, I, I love what Ren seems to be doing here in, in being open, opening up him himself and his feelings and his experiences to other people um, to let them know that they're not alone. And I hope that this thing that we're going through with media um, 
trying to silence that stuff is just a temporal uh, anomaly. Um, and we can go back to talking about this stuff freely uh, so that people can see that, that they're not alone. So thanks so much for the request, Helga. I hope you enjoyed the reaction. Uh, YouTube, let me know what you thought down in the comments. Uh, we'll see you all next weekend, hopefully. Uh, but till we see you next, I hope you stay safe. Peace.